ओम शांति अव्यक्त बाप दादा मुरली डेट टेंथ सेप्टेम्बर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री ओरिजिनल डेट फोर्थ डिसम्बर नाइनटीन नाइंटी फाइव इम्बाइब कंप्लीट प्योरिटी विद द फाउंडेशन ऑफ एक्यूरेट फेथ Today, Bab Dada was saying, the new children from everywhere in this land and abroad, whether they have come to Madhuban in their corporeal forms, or whether they have come from their service places in their angelic forms, while seeing the new ones, Bab Dada was saying, the faith of them. all because faith is the foundation of perfection in this brahmin life if your foundation is strong it is guaranteed that you will easily and quickly reach your stage of perfection so bab dada was saying that you children have different kinds of faith accurate faith is i now belong to the father the supreme soul and i recognize accept and move along while considering myself to be a soul and i know the father as he is this is accurate faith the second faith is to experience peace from being peaceless for a short time by having yoga and the powerful and peaceful atmosphere of the place also attracts you for a short time or there is the influence of the brahmin family the spiritual love of the brahmin family and the life of purity you enjoy the company because in contrast to the atmosphere of the world you like this company and you feel that the knowledge is good the family is good and the atmosphere is also good and you therefore continue to move along on the basis of the foundation of enjoying all of this this is the second number you were told that the first number is to have accurate faith and the second number is to like all of this the third number is based on the extent to which you protect yourself from the sorrowful atmosphere of the worldly relations and spend time at the center to that extent you you remove yourself from sorrow and experience peace you would not go into the depths of knowledge but because of the attainment of peace you sometimes go to the center and at other times you don't however an intellect that has accurate faith is victorious it has been seen that at the beginning when you first come you are distressed by peacelessness and want some peace it is just as when thirsty people receive even a drop of water they experience that to be something great so that is receiving attainment from no attainment there is a visible difference in the family in knowledge in yoga and in the atmosphere so at first they move along with great zeal and enthusiasm 
and they have a lot of intoxication and happiness however if their foundation of accurate faith or the first number is not strong if they have the second or third type of faith then there is a difference in the happiness and energy of the initial period this season many new ones have come and it is good that you have been given this chance bab dada is also pleased to see the new children that they have once again reached their own family however check yourself to see if the foundation of your faith is strong is your faith number 1 or number 2 if you have number 1 faith then as you make progress you should not find it difficult to imbibe the main subject of purity if purity makes you fluctuate even in your dreams if it causes fluctuation you can understand that your foundation of the number 1 faith is weak because the original religion of souls is purity impurity is an external religion and purity is your original religion so when you have the faith of your original religion no other external religion can shake you many children say that previously many good students used to come and that they now don't know what has happened so what happens is that you do not experience the father as he is and what he is if you were asked if the father is with you all of you would raise your hands it is very easy to raise your hands however if the father is with you what is the first praise of the father that you sing that he is the almighty authority do you accept this or do you just know it so since the almighty authority father is with you can any impurity come in front of the almighty authority it cannot come but it does come so where does it come from is there any other place thieves have their special gates they have their secret gates so do you have a secret gate hidden somewhere check this otherwise where did maya come from does she come from up above if if she comes from up above she should be finished up above some would come from a hidden gate which you are not aware of therefore check that maya has not created a secret gate somewhere do you know how she makes these gates maya would make her gate in whatever particular sanskar or nature you are weak when any nature or sanskar is weak no matter how much you try to close that gate the gate is still weak and the maya is janin jananhar one who knows everything and she is aware that that particular gate is weak and that she can find a way in there so she does find her way in 
while moving along you have thoughts of impurity you even speak such words and perform such deeds so a gate is left open somewhere and this is why maya comes so what kind of company is this you say that the almighty authority is with you so where did where did this weakness come from can any weakness remain it cannot so why does it remain if there is any vice in terms of purity for instance greed then greed doesn't just exist in terms of food and drink many people think that they are not attracted to clothes food or the places where they live and that they are happy with whatever they receive or whatever is made for them however as they move forward maya brings greed in a royal or subtle form what is that royal form of greed whether someone is a student or a teacher maya makes full effort to put some royal form of greed into both for instance some may be students whose intellects have very good faith they are serviceable souls and are good at everything but as they move forward they have greed in a royal form they think even after doing so much and helping in every way with my body mind and wealth and been present on service at whatever time needed even then the teacher never mentions my name to say that this student is very good if they don't have this thought what is the other form okay they have attained a name for themselves then by hearing their name mentioned i am something only i am doing this only i can do this they develop arrogance you worked very hard and yet no one even asked about you or even gave you a glass of water no one even looked at you but they just remained busy in their own rest or their own work there is then the feeling that you do everything yet no one even asks about you you feel why should i do anything to do something or not to do something it is the same thing no one is going to ask me anything about it anyway so it is better to sit at home comfortably i will do service when someone asks me so there are various royal forms of vices even if one form of vice comes it may not be greed it could be arrogance or if you even have any consciousness or thought that others should accept you then when there is one wise its four other companions would also be hidden there in some form then when you give one of them a chance the other four hidden wises will also take their chance according to that according to the time some then say that they don't have the intoxication that they initially used to experience that they previously had very good intoxication and had a very good stage 
but they don't know what has now happened maya the thief entered through the gate you are aware of it therefore don't say that you don't know what happened even teachers experience this what do the teachers want that their center should be good it doesn't matter what their clothes are like but at least their center should be a comfortable place to live in that they should have good companions and good students and a good bandari for baba if one of their good students changes then their hearts start to beat faster they then feel what can i do now he was a good helper but he has now left was your helper the student or the father who is visible at the time the student or the father so this royal form of maya tries to shake your foundation if you have the faith that the almighty authority is with you then he will make someone or other an instrument to help you do not have any desire to be given an opportunity let me at least attend a conference in abu once or let me attend any other conf- major conference okay if nothing else let me do this yagya yoga camp i should have this chance okay i may not give a lecture but i should at least come on to the stage destruction will also take take place so will i not get a chance or number to do this until destruction i should at least have this chance however bab dada also told you earlier if you are worthy and you are given this chance then do it with happiness but even to have this thought that i should be given a chance is also a form of begging to constantly want something is a royal form of begging this should happen it is because they do not recognize us even the dadis and didis do not recognize everyone they only put forward those who come to the front even to have this thought in a subtle way of begging even to have this thought is a subtle way of begging bab dada has told you that if you come on to the stage because of some speciality you may not have that yoga your stage may not be that good but it is because you have a speciality of speaking or catching power that your name is therefore glorified some have a very sweet way of speaking they speak with good great clarity and have good catching power they collect examples from here and there and relate them to others and their names are therefore glorified if you are asked whom do you want you would say i want so and so who should come so and so should come even if that one is weak in yoga the final result is not based on this the final result will not be based on how many lectures you have given or how many students or centers you have created but on how many you have made worthy it is not a big 
thing to create a center but on how many souls you have made worthy okay you have a and you have earned a name for being a center in charge of 30 centers however if out of the 30 15 are fluctuating and 15 are okay is there benefit in that or is that just having your name glorified you have then just earned the name of being so and so who has 30 centers however you will not attain a number based on that the final number will be based on how many you gave happiness to and how powerful you yourself remained therefore also finish this type of wanting otherwise you will not be able to have yoga every day you will be watching and thinking that this program happened at such a place but that you were not called it happened the day before yesterday it happened here yesterday it happened there today so will you be able to have yoga or will you be counting so the main thing is to make your accurate faith strong you say in words that you are a soul and the father is the almighty authority but this should be visible in your practical actions if the father is the almighty authority and maya is shaking you who would you believe that your father is the almighty authority there is no one higher than him so today bab dada is seeing the foundation of your faith whether you are new or old put this foundation of your faith into practice and use it at the right time after the time has passed for you to use it you come to the father with repentance what can i do baba it just happened you are the merciful one have mercy on me so what is this this is also a royal form of repentance if baba is with you then none of you would have the courage to have a faithful intellect means to be victorious if something does come do not let your mind fluctuate do not let your stage fluctuate even if something does come instantly finish it from a distance do not now become warriors many are not constant yogis at present they are sometimes yogis and they are warriors at other times those who battle so what do you call yourselves warriors or yogis you can you call yourselves easy yogis all of you new ones have come bab dada is once again congratulating you on having attended this fortune however along with receiving congratulations you also have to check whether your foundation is number 1 or number 2 many say that they like knowledge and yoga a lot that it is very good that is okay however do you use this knowledge in your actions knowledge means 
souls the supreme soul and the drama not just in words knowledge means understanding a sensible person is always successful in everything by using his sense as is appropriate for the time when you experience a moment of sorrow in your life what do you think you would say i don't know why i was not able to understand this so you are sensible are you knowledgeable say yes or no ha ji you say yes very well a sign a sign of being sensible is that you are never deceived this is a sign of a knowledgeable soul and a sign of a yogi soul is constantly to have a clean and clear intellect let it be clean and clear a yogi would never say i don't know i don't know his intellect is always remain clear a sign of being an embodiment of dharana is that you are constantly double light no matter how big a responsibility you have you are constantly an embodiment of dharana and you remain constantly double light being double light even if there is a fair mela or a circus jhamela chaotic or disorganized the sign of a serviceable soul is in in his constantly being a humble instrument so check all of this within yourselves all of you say that you are godly students in all four subjects therefore signs of that should be visible so what will the new ones do you have to make your faith even more strong otherwise you will move along for two or three years and then return to the old world those who return to the old world cannot settle themselves there either they are neither belong to this world nor to that world therefore make your foundation very strong experience the almighty authority father to be with you even if you have experienced this one you will pass in everything people have the intoxication of being in the company of an ordinary prime minister or a minister but this one is the almighty authority acha to the elevated most fortunate souls in all directions who constantly make the bestower of fortune belong to them to the worthy children who constantly listen to bab dada's shrimat and put it into practice to all the obedient children who remain constantly unshakable in doing service to those who become free from any chaos and who celebrate a meeting with god bab dada's love remembrance and namaste double foreigners have double intoxication do you not double foreigners means those who are double light you have double intoxication and you are doubly loved by bab dada and the family do you understand blessing
may you be one with all rights and finish dependency by experiencing your right of belonging to make the father belong to you means to experience your right where you have a right there is no dependency on yourself or on relationships and connections you have no dependency on matter or adverse situations when all of this type of dependency finish you then become one with all rights those who know the father and have made him belong to them by knowing him are great and have all rights slogan to move along while harmonizing one's sanskars and virtues with everyone is a speciality of special souls om shanti thank you baba thank you